Hi there and welcome to Big V TV. One of our very, very familiar faces and friends right around the Big V traps is Dave Roberts from Latrobe City Energy. Dave, thanks for joining us and a really big week for the club. Sure. Coming up yep. Saturday night against Sunbury, the women are in action and it's a big part of NAIDOC week, isn't it? Yeah, look, we've been celebrating NAIDOC week and working with the Aboriginal community about getting uh, them more involved in basketball. We had a clinic the other day which was really fantastic and had a number of young people there, uh, which is really great because we're really trying to foster that development from right a young age and through obviously to, to um, Tanali, who's uh, a great model, role model for the community. One of Kel's favourite players. Actually, he is. Having a breakout year, Tanali is, um, at the moment. Uh, tell us a bit how, about her involvement in the program. Yeah, look, she's been uh, involved for a long time in terms of our um, association and our club. Uh, she went through our juniors with VJBL, uh, stepped up over the last few years and played Big V, uh, and then took on the captaincy role this year, and she's really relished that. She's actually had a great season on the court yep, as well, yeah, yeah. Um, but also to that leadership role has just been invaluable for the club and then she's been doing some work off the off, uh, behind the scenes I guess uh, with the club and with the Aboriginal community as well which has been great. Uh, last year we ran a five-week program she was head coach of a, a Koori Academy yeah. um, from that we identified a young fella who's playing up under 14s for us and right. he's really doing a fantastic job um, he's dominating in under 14s in division one in the VJBL yeah. uh, and hopefully we'll see some more young people come through our ranks as well. Mm. And a lot of people wouldn't realize the Koori community down in Gippsland huge it's extent yeah absolutely it's extensive. Yeah. They are a very, very big part of right across its land on the Trove Valley. Yep. Um, certainly up around when you get to Lakes Entrance and Tides. Sure. Uh, how do you bring everyone together? Because it is a very broad region. Look, it, it is really tough and we struggle with that with our with our players, uh, any players within our club. You know, that travel from obviously Lakes Entrance or yep. Boss down is really tough. Uh, the basketball community in Lakes Entrance have actually been doing some fantastic work up there. Uh, in Bensdale, they've been having a three on three Aboriginal tournament every year. Uh, and certainly our club would like to get more involved with that as well. But you know, there's certainly things happening down there in the basketball community, and particularly around Aboriginal young yep. people. Well, unfortunately, Kel can't be there Saturday night. I he's can't, otherwise engaged. I, can't. I think he's running up for a game this week. Uh, but definitely looking forward to it. Nathan and I are heading down there. Uh, tell us about the night. What's the whole build up yeah. and yeah. what do we expect on, uh, on Saturday night? For sure. Look, it's going to be a fantastic night. We're tipping off about quarter to six with the uh, Aboriginal exhibition game or Koori game. Uh, we've got a number of young people that are going to uh, perform in that and, 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 and I guess show their wares. Right. Um, we've then got a traditional welcome. Uh, we're also doing some recognition. We've got a couple of of, uh, young Koori ch uh, children who've actually made uh, the, the Basketball Victoria Academy. Right. Uh, so we're going to recognise those young people as well. We've got a couple of surprises for Tonali as well. Uh, we've got in uh, the Indigenous Hip Hop dancers are coming down. Oh, I've, yeah. seen, so, a video. I've seen a video, yeah. mate. They're very good. So, uh, very good. so would I go against them? You'd, uh, you'd lose. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd we're lose, hoping yeah. to actually have a clinic on um, uh, or a dance uh, <laughs> workshop with um, some young people as oh, well cool, yeah. and actually get them involved at halftime entertainment uh, as well as uh, use them as a bit of a cheerleaders during the night. Oh, yeah. so, uh, and then we're, we're trying to get um, some uh, indigenous music as well to try and play it and pump it up through through the night oh, as well. Jessica Cowboy. Yeah, there's a, there's, hey, a few. Jessica there's a few. I've heard, I've heard whispers. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, right. uh, well, look, Nathan and I are going to be down there early. We're really looking forward to Saturday night. Latrobe City Energy Women up against the Sunbury Jets. Lots and lots of things happening on and off the court. For sure. I'm sure Nathan will, uh, he'd love to get involved with the cheerleading aspect. Yeah, so would love him too as well. Yeah, he, he loves does. it. He loves um, it yeah. And we can't forget we've got a game to win as well. Yeah, we're down there in winter. Hey, what we've got you just across the uh, the whole club both teams look like they're headed for finals yeah look knock on wood they, yeah. look like they look like they're headed we're, for finals. we're pretty excited about where, where the club's sitting at the moment with both teams doing really well yeah. uh, we're hoping to have both teams in, in finals and come that last weekend in august nice. um so yeah it's really really exciting for our club Great. Good. Looking forward to it. Up and, about. Up and about the energy. We love what our clubs do. They do so much for so many different causes. Yep. Great to see the Latrobe City Energy getting behind NAIDOC week and a big, big night coming up on Saturday night. Get out there and support the energy, support your club. Good luck with it all, Dave. No worries. Good luck, mate. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time on Big V TV.